I just sat on my hair, bro. The downside of having not straight up 45 inches of hair is that you will sit on it and it hurts. Okay, rolling. Hi, my name is Grace and welcome to my space. All right, jumping into it. Best of 2020 Grace purchases. All the skincare that um, my bank account probably hates, but my face really, 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 really enjoyed. I love talking good skincare. I go out of my way. I make such an excessive effort to make sure that whatever skincare I ever hit checkout on is going to be worth my money because uh, it's a panorama, you know? And so 2020, some way, somehow, I have managed to do much better than I did in the past. Like, honestly, if I had a channel in 2019, y'all would have seen a way more in the worst of videos. But thankfully I did it, and now I read reviews. So <laughs> I'm gonna do this in order of like, like least favorite of the best. So jumping right in, must again, the fourth ray beauty rose hip oil. Honestly, rose hip oil, Rosehip oil is that girl. Let me get my hands on screening and it's over. But rosehip oil so far, like I can't say whether it's this, their version, because their version is literally just rosehip oil in a bottle. Like I don't know if the beauty supply would give me the same effect. All I know is I love rosehip oil purely because of this tiny little bottle right here. It absorbed in my skin so well. I felt like it was actually nourishing, not a, not so much hydrating. I don't really even, even really know if oils have the ability to be hydrating like that. Somebody let me know. What I do know is it absorbed so well. And I woke up, I woke up and my skin was plump and I just, glory to God, because like this shine that you're seeing is some parts makeup, but a lot of parts stuff like this, like, just nourishing, 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 that when I wake up, my skin is still like, hey girl, we're still glass. No plaster over here, girl. We are still glass. And it's mm, 10 out of 10 recommend. Don't know if I'd recommend it from Fourth Ray, because I just think Rose of Oil, like everybody has one. But I think I'm gonna have to just try a different brand's fourth rose hip oil and see. See if the magic is in the oil or if the magic is in the brand. It's probably not in the brand though. Next up, it's really hard picking like, like the order of events for here, but I would say like the next product over is the I'm from Honey Mask. You're probably wondering, I thought that mask came in a jar. It did, but the mask was also 30 bucks. So I got the 6.99 sampler <laughs> and worth every 99 it was so good like i force myself to only use it once a month so i can keep using it because it's luxury in a little sampler for my birthday next year i'm 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 speaking in existence now i will be at a place where i can just buy myself my i'm fun honey mask jar because this mask is just as good as every review makes it seem like like i i just want us i almost said normalize and then, then i almost like hit myself in the face for how frustrating that phrase is i want us to just get to a point where it's more common to have masks that soothe heal nourish rather than like all the focus with masks that it's like stripping and like clay and like dry everything out because this did more to improve my acne and look of scars and appearances than any clay mask and anything because it was like a it was like medicine. It felt like, you know, sometimes when when you were a kid and you had that bubblegum medicine, like it was bubblegum flavored like children's syrup. And but it was good. So like if you had to drink some, it was like, but this is kind of good. Like this is what this is. It's like it, it's healing, but in such a positive manner that my skin could not help but love it. And again, I have oily skin. So when I see benefits from like hydrating, nourishing products, I'm like, let's go. Because I feel like the conversation around oily skin care is so much about like stripping and whatever. And I'm and I'm like, I really like to be pampered, even in my skincare. So that's exactly what happened here. Next up in my order of events. I'm trying to, like, I know which one is like top three. So we'll go here. Kayla Crave Beauty Kayla Luya. I'm so excited to try the other three products from Crave Beauty because I've only tried two and both of them are on this list. Crave Beauty is that brand. Crave Beauty is that brand. Leah Yu is that girl, is that woman, that boss, that, mm. 
I've tried AHAs before. I've tried glycolic acid um, toners before. Two things happen. Either they're so strong, the ordinary, that they literally, I start peeling. And I'm not somebody who overuses products. Like I'll use them. If you tell me not to use this more than three times a week, I'm not using more than three times a week. If you tell me that I can only use a pea size, I'm only using a pea size. You know, I'm that type of person. And in the past, like the, I think I tried the Mario Badesco glycolic toner thing, peeled my face like crazy. The Ordinary left me dry patches. Again, oily skin, none of these things should be happening. This was so nice. It did what it was supposed to. I think it really improved like the general like texture, tone, everything in my face. Everything that I look for an HA to do, this did it. But I could have worn this every single night. I could have worn this every single night. It did that while being gentle. Like, I don't get it, I don't get it. And like, even like the sting, like sometimes with these products, like the sting is like unbearable. You're like, I know you said it's supposed to tingle, but like, I feel like I'm dying, not her. That sting, I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> it was like little, it was like little pinches. I was like, okay, girl, look at you, Crave Beauty. Let me get my hands on them three other products. And it's a wrap, like she just, like the power that woman has, like, to make such quality products, but make them also sensitive, skin friendly. The way your face can never. Okay, next up. I should have done this in no specific order because I really do love all of these products. Okay, the Essentry Hyaluronic Acid Moist Cream is the my cream of the year. This is the cream of the year. Not only did it last me 95% of this year, but it genuinely might be the best nighttime moisturizer I have ever laid eyes on. It outdoes my sleeping mask. It outdid that rose oil. It is the most nourishing, hydrating, perfect night cream. And it's not even a night cream, it's just a moisturizer. But you know, I don't like to wear it during the day because it is a little thicker. It is a hyaluronic acid moisture cream. It is chalked. It's like, so I don't really like to wear it during um, what's it called? Don't like to wear it during the day. But at night, get out of here. Disrespectful how a nice my skin would wake up when I woke up. I love Essentry. I would genuinely, I think Essentry is like top five brands ever. Like I love them. I love their formulation. I have literally never tried an Essentry product that I haven't been like, yep, 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 yep. Like I'm currently using their BHA toner, their, B their green tea toner with BHA. Like they don't miss. Essentry does not miss, for real. And like, this is a prime time example of it. If you're looking for a, a cream that you wanna use at night, because the reason I keep saying night, because in the morning I'm using an SPF and if I need extra boost, I wear a water gel, like, you know? So like creams, like cream creams, I consider them night creams. This is one of them. What's crazy is I'm a sleeping mask girly. I love me some sleeping mask. Genuinely speaking, this knocked all of my sleeping masks out the park. Like I went from like, I couldn't go to bed without sleeping masks to like, where are they? I don't even know where my sleeping masks are because they just could not compete with how good of a moisturizer this was. Adore. Also, fragrance free. Bro, Essentry is that girl. Like all they got in there is, all Essentry got in there is the things that you ask for. And <laughs> very content, very content. Okay, next up. Soon Jung Sika Bob. Yes Style no longer houses this. I need somebody to tell me where I can get my hands on this. Because if there's one thing I refuse to live my life with, it's without a Sika Bomb. I don't do that. I don't do that. I need a Sika Bomb. I need my Sika Bombs. And this one, like I've tried like five, I would say, like from five different brands. Like, oof, oof, like that's oof. Soon Jung is one of my favorite brands because I love a brand that is universally safe. You know, I love a brand that like a baseline brand that I'm like, you're gonna be fragrance free, you're gonna be sensitive skin friendly and you're gonna have good products. Soon Jung is that brand. Like everything they have, not they, they're not always revolutionary, but they're, they're such a safe brand. Like I feel safe. Like I feel safe in telling people like, you can try their cleanser. You can do this and this and that. Like, 
such a safe, solid, solid brand. I love that, how solid they are. And this, like their best product they have, the Five Panthenoside Seek Balm. But, and dermatologist, it should be clear by now. I would like sometimes, over the summer, one, first of all, my mask was crazy. Like the, like it would be the mask knee combined with hormonal like like stress acne and i it w the summer had my face busted like the way the summer had my skin busted and if you don't believe me please go look at my dynamite video where i do dynamite makeup and zoom in on my cheeks the summer had my face busted <laughs> like, like i would have really clear skin and then the hormones would kick in or the stress would kick in or the masculine would kick in and i'd be like y'all are beating my ass but all I had to do, take a little bit of some of my BHA, concentrate it on the area, add my Sika Balm, go to sleep. Like that was like my nighttime skincare routine. Wash my face, put a little um, exfoliant on like the really, really rough BHA specifically. Cause I have a really gentle BHA from B Plain. Put some of that on my cheeks, Sika Balm. And I would coat it. Like I wouldn't even like, like rub the Sika Balm in. I would just like leave a thick old layer, wake up. And then the remnants put a pimple patch on. Like that was how I, de I that's how I got through the summer, truly. With how crazy my face, my, my, my skin was acting. I love, I love her. And the fact that it's almost out and that website says sold out. I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what to do, I'm panicking. Okay, coming in here. The next two products, love them on an equal plane. We have Dear Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence SVF. I got this from James Welsh, who's one of my favorite YouTubers like ever, him and Robert, I think, came into the game and told everybody to relax. And it's so nice because people were starting to take YouTube too seriously, quite frankly. And they both came in and they were like, relax. Like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. And it's been astounding seeing the effect they've had on the whole platform as somebody who's been watching YouTube Avid, avidly since like 2008. But anyways, Dear Claire Soft UV Airy Essence. It was within, um, James did like a, like a wish trend box and this was in it. And actually looking, I'd say one, two, three out of five items in the wish trend box are on this top best of 2020 list. I would honestly say that like box collection thing out of all the YouTuber things I've been convinced to buy was probably the most worth the money I spent. This SBF goes on invisible. Emphasis on invisible because so many SBFs, so many SBFs, I wear so, like, and I love this, I like the smell. It's kind of like earthy, it smells like tea. I, I've finished it for so long, I forgot how luxe this feels. I'm somebody who truly, when I put on SPF, I put on a lot. I put on a lot. I put on a lot. So I need you to be, like, when you say you don't have a white cast, I need you to mean it. I have been embarrassed by a couple SPFs that said they didn't have a white cast, but they didn't mean it. Because when I started adding the amount of SPF I feel comfortable enough to exist outside in the world in, then I was still Violet from Willy Wonka. Not this. I could put 28 pounds of this joint on my face at the same time. No white cast still would have absorbed, still would have felt great. Outstanding product. Best SPF of the year. Best SPF I've ever touched. I've tried, at this point, I would say I've tried like, like eight or so different SPFs. Top. Top two, not number two. Just know that. Like, nobody's touching the Dear Claire's Soft UV Airy Essence. You're not. And if you are, please call me because I would also like to experience what that is. Because if you can now do this, please, came my lineup, please. Okay, Dear Claire's. Dear Claire's are in the top. Honestly, Dear Claire's, I've been hearing about this brand for so long. Like everybody seemed to really, really mess with this brand. I get it. Dear Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop also came from that box I got from James. Wow. Wow, wow. This product, when I got it, this was when I was like, do I need to like invest in like more oily, thicker products? Like I am, I am like a hydration nut. 
I am a hydration nut. I, all I care about, all I care about is hydration. Like I'm always like, how can I get the most hydration on my face? And then I'll seal whatever that hydration looks like in. But I'm a hydration fanatic. This product got me thinking about nourishing oil, moisturizers. Let's get into what that's like. That's what this product did for me. It is super hydrating. It does absorb really well, but it gives this, it is like an oil effect, this nourishing, thick, occlusive oil effect that does not feel greasy. It's astounding to me because the easy, the ease that I can go from like oil, shiny glow like this to grease. It's a, like, this is like, this is pretty oil. This is like, oh my gosh, your skin is shiny glass skin because I put a lot of liquid highlighter for a reason. This, the quickness, if I don't regulate my skincare underneath all this makeup, this will turn into patchy grease. You can fire frying pan on my forehead, drip, 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 drip. It's quite crazy. And this never did that. It was, it's definitely pricier. That's why I'm glad I got in that box because you got it for a discount. It's pricier. Dear Claire's is pricier as a brand, but it was absolutely worth it. Like, I really loved it. I love the experience. I love the experience of wearing this. Now that I'm like almost done, I try to limit when I wear it just to like kind of hold on to whatever time I have left with it. But I love it. Next up, keeping on the trend of Dear Claire's, honestly, three in a row, bang, 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 Dear Claire's. If you've ever wondered, like, like I would say personally, here are my top five favorite skincare routines. Now, skincare brands, Dear Claire's, Benton, Isentry, I'm Fun, and Purito. Those, oh, yeah. Actually, I would switch out Benton for Innisfree because I haven't been really been using Innisfree like that, but they are still, like I, the way my heart warms up when I think about Innisfree. So yeah, Dear Claire's, I'm From, Purito, Isentry, Innisfree are like my top five Korean skincare brands. Like I really trust them with everything. And this solidified Dear Claire's as number one for me. It really did. This is the Daily Skin Hydrating Water. It came in that James Welsh box. <sighs> oh my God. I love it. It is exactly what I love a tone. I want from toners. At this point, everyone knows that Western toners are different than Eastern toners. Eastern toners are hydrating, Western toners are cleansing. You can find toners that do both. Um, you can find toners that do not do both. You know, that's the whole game. This toner is the definition of hydration. It was as if I literally took a straw to my cheek and let my face drink water. Like that's how hydrating is. You know when you drink, like, not like you, like you had a glass, you drink water. Will you drink enough water that you physically feel reborn? That's what this was like for my skin. So good. Again, a little bit more pricier than what I like. But this big old bottle, this, honestly, this bottle should have lasted me longer, but I was like a crackhead with this. And where I normally don't over apply skincare, I like quadruple, quintuplet. Like I was over applying this at a level that I'm even ashamed to admit, like straight up. I was over applying this way too. I think I was attempting to drown in it, like drown in it. Like I was really went about using this product like I was drowning in it. And I think also cause it doesn't have an active and like, you know, it's not, it, it, it has, um, it has some green tea leaf and all that stuff, but it was like, it's not like an active. So I didn't feel like, oh, scared or that it was gonna like overuse would mess up my skin in any way. I was trying to drown myself in this. I would have drank it if I could like this. <laughs> I love this product. I love this product. God, are you there, God? It's me, Grace. Please bless me with a higher paying job because I need to be able to afford my loves and this is one of them. Lanesh. I get emotional every time I think about this. <laughs> like I literally started tearing up. I get emotional. Lanesh Cream Skin <laughs> Work. 
Okay, a couple things. They stopped selling this in Yes Style. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what is going on. I think it's on Stavana. I don't know. But I've also told myself, chill out. You know, like we we're trying to go with the more affordable and this was bought in a little bit more of an expensive splurge. I got this cream skin refiner mist because I had the cream skin refiner before and it ran out. Like you ever think back on like the experience of doing something and you're like, yeah. Like that's what this is. I get flashbacks to the experience of putting this on my face. This is like drinking milk for your face. But let me further elaborate on that because I'm somebody who actually does not like to drink milk. This is like drinking hot chocolate with a little whipped cream on top. Like yes, you know, the water's in there so it's hydrating, but your whole everything just feels warm. Like I feel taken, taken care of. I feel seen when I put this on. <laughs> <laughs> this product. This was my girl. This cream skin refiner. It's like, it's a toner. It's like a toner mist. It's a very milky texture and it provides moisture along with hydration. Like no complaints, no complaints. I almost bought, like at one point they were selling a set of like six and I almost bought it. And then I looked over my accounts and I said, one day like there are products that like are not that expensive but i don't want to ever get into the habit of getting addicted to them where i am right now because you know you have to be you have to be realistic and this is one of them where i was like can you afford to be sp spending it could be like two months 25 dollars for this and i say two months even though this is like five months worth of product because similar to dear claire's i attempted to drown in it I literally attempted to shower my body in this. I love it. Laneige has some overrated products, truly. Like their lip sleeping mask, overrated. You could get the same, I got the same thing from Carnell or Carnell or whatever. Um, some of their sleeping masks are okay. Some of them are super overrated. The secret one, I got like a sampler and it broke me out. And that never happens to me. The water one, I think the Isn Tree does better. Like they have overrated products. This was is not one of them. And I will die on this hill. I will die on the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Hill. When I get married, put this on my finger. So matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. Crave beauty. Like who like Leah. 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 Did you really have to? Half these products, I got them because me and James Walsh, like, this is like, as a, it's a best of 2020, but it's also like, look at all the things James Wells has convinced me to buy. Me and him have very similar skin behaviors. And so when he said he liked it, and this was his favorite cleanser, I was like, you know what? I love Leah's channel. I love Crave Beauty. I've been watching her for years now. And so like seeing this, this, line go from idea to fruition it's been amazing so i was like sure why not like that's literally like this cleanser did it it did what no other cleanser has been doing it did not dry me out but it cleansed my face i am somebody who is willing to be dried out if you will cleanse my face my hydration routine is so intense that i'm like fine you can dry me out if you are willing to clean up this oil because there's lots of it. I know it's like, oh my gosh, your skin looks, but there's a lot of oil down here and I need it gone. But when I need the oil gone, I need the oil gone. When I need the SPF gone, I need it gone. And I, no questions asked. Dry me out before you. And I'm, and you know, I would not recommend that mindset for most people. I would not really recommend that mindset for anybody. But because I know I'm going to hydrate to the gods, I'm okay with it. This product, nothing's more satisfying after a long day, you do your double cleanse and you wash your face and then you hit, you, you go to tone and the cotton pad touches your face and it comes back white. Nothing is more satisfying because that means that once I'm there, I'm just there, I'm hydrating, I moved on. It's not about the cleansing anymore, we've moved on, we've moved on up. And this did that for me, this did that for me. And it was gentle, gentle enough that I could also wear in the day and it would leave my face still hydrated 
so that during the day, because the air is dry in New York City, surprise to no one. This product, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10, a million out of 10. I love this. This is my favorite cleanser. I'm like in the hunt because right now I'm like, okay, I need to test a new cleanser. And I'm like, been so depressed because I'm like, I don't know if a cleanser can compete. If somebody else has a really quality, the hy hydrating cleanser recommendation that is oil skin friendly, let me know because I love trying new stuff. And with the way this girl took care of my face, I really reached a point where I was like, I may never try a new cleanser ever again. And that goes against my skincare religion. You know I like to keep it fresh. So yes, those are all my best of, best of 2020 skincare purchases. It's crazy cause like, when I got this, I got this in January and I got this in July and this, I got this in like August, September, like, September. It's interesting to see, look at the skincare of my year and just like see how different of a person I was comparing these. Because the way I used to do my skincare routine when I was using the Laneige Cream Skin is so different than when I'm using this Essentry Moist, moist Cream. Like back when I was using this in the beginning of the year, my skincare routine was 13 steps every night. And now it's mostly four. <laughs> and then I like, you know, I, I do my supplemental skincare as needed, but it's just to see the growth of 2020, it's really fun to look back and see how things have changed because the Grace who brought this, the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner in January, is so different than the one now. Like I could have never imagined that one day would be a YouTube channel that I could record how I feel about this Scream Skin Refiner. Insane. Also that I would be living in New York, working an entertainment job. Also insane. Like 2020 has been one of the worst years of everyone's life. Like everyone, no one is, is exempt. And yet there's been so many moments of blessings and so it's fun. It's fun to look back over the year and look at these two products and know that the same person bought it, but it's like different people are using it. You know what I mean? Anyways, done being sentimental. It's been a interesting year. It's been an interesting year. I am really grateful that I'm here, I, that I have my space, that anyone can join me there in my space, whether they want to or not. And I'm just so blessed and grateful to God that I'm even entering 2021. Shout out to the best skincare that I had the foresight to invest in. And I'm really, really looking forward to next year because who knows where I'll be like sitting here being like, oh, I'm sitting here is tells me one thing that I have no clue where I'm going to be in the end of 2021. But I will say, hopefully I will still have the foresight I had when I bought these products and I'll have even more amazing products to talk about that my bank account will hate me for having bought then too. Bye.